What is going on guys, Rahul here, aka Roz Reacts, back again with another 17 reaction. Now, um, this is going to be a pretty long intro, I'm just going to warn you now, so if you want to skip to just the reactions part, I'm going to leave like timestamps of each video, each music video reaction, um, so you could feel free to go to those if you want to skip the intro, but um, basically, in this video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be reacting to every single 17 music video in order. Um, I'm probably gonna have somewhere in the title that like it's only the title tracks um, so basically I counted up all of the music videos for 17 um, the ones that I haven't seen including the b-side music videos so title tracks plus the special videos plus the b-side music videos all that kind of stuff for their whole discography so far and I think there were 28 that I haven't seen yet um, so if I had all 28 of those in one video like if I reacted to all 28 of those in one single reaction I have no idea how long it would have been. I think I calculated it. It's one hour and 45 minutes worth of music videos. Um, and that in a reaction would probably become like four to five hours for me, especially knowing my 17 reactions, each reaction ends up being like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, 28 music videos all in one reaction would have just been too exhausting for me. And also it would have like at the near the end, I probably would have got a little like annoyed by it considering like i'd be sitting there for five hours i mean what i'm doing right now is probably going to take like two to three hours anyways um i mean it depends we'll see we'll see how each how long each music video takes for me to react to but there's 15 title tracks that i haven't seen yet um i have them all listed on my phone in order i'm going to be going through them in order i think adore you is the pre-debut song and i think manse is also in it a, a pre-debut song and then their actual debut uh, I think is pretty you. Um, I might be wrong on that. Someone can correct me in the comments. Um, but yeah, if you're a carrot, if you're new to this channel, I've already reacted to a few title tracks. I've reacted to um, Left and Right, Ready to Love, Rock With You, which was my first 17 reaction. I reacted to Darling, which is my most recent music video reaction. Um, and I reacted to a few Japanese music videos, 24 Hours, Fall and Flower, which is one of my favorite 17 reaction, or sorry, music videos and also Not Alone, and I think there might be another Japanese one that I'm forgetting, but yeah, make sure to go check out all of those reactions if you haven't already, if you're new to this channel. If you enjoy this reaction, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I'm just thinking if I forgot anything. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, I, I've been talking a lot already. There's 15 music videos that I'm going to be going through in this reaction. The one I'm most excited about is Don't Wanna Cry because I have a friend who's been telling me to listen to that for a very long time, even before I even reacted to 17. Um, and I think that's their most popular song, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know. And Home Run is another one I'm excited for because I've been putting that off for so long. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for that, but mainly don't wanna cry. But yeah, 15 music videos, 15. This is the first kind of marathon style video that I'm gonna be doing on this channel. I wish it could have been on like a stream so it would have been like live, I could be interacting with you and stuff, but um, yeah, I'm also working on a Discord server currently, so hopefully I can have some more details on that soon so you guys can join that server and we can interact more because I don't know why I don't have a Discord server yet, um, but yeah, anyways, so I think that's pretty much it that I wanted to talk about in this intro. It's pretty damn hot in my room. So I have a fan like leaning up against my table. I don't know if that's making a lot of sound on the mic. I hope it's not. I did like a test thing. So hopefully it's not. But uh, yeah, um, I think that's it. Pretty much. Um, oh, another thing. I'm going to be reacting to the albums individually. So after I finish this reaction. Oh, I'm also sorry. Okay, wait, let me let me restart. So this video is going to be all the title track music videos. I'm going to do another reaction to all the B-side and special music videos that they have in another reaction. So I think there's 12 or 13 that'll be in that video. And after I finish that, it'll basically be a part one and two of title tracks and then special music videos. So those two music, those two reactions will make up all of the music video reactions. Um, and then after that, I'm going to be doing albums individually, but that's going to be after the comeback. So I'm going to start with the pre-debut stuff and debut and work my way in order of albums and I'm gonna do full album listening parties and then hopefully I can get into going 17 and stuff as well so lots of stuff you know I have a lot of stuff planned for 17 um, but yeah I wanted to get these music video marathons out of the way before the comeback so that I could have like 
a, no a full knowledge of 17 music videos before getting to the comeback, which I'm super excited for, by the way. So, yeah, finally, this is easily my longest intro on my channel so far. So hopefully, if some of you guys are still here, um, completely get it if you guys just skip to the reaction, though. But anyways, let's officially start this reaction. I just realized I put the intro or I put the outro. That's such an L. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut that part out. This is actually gonna be the intro, so Okay. So that was an L. I don't know why I pressed the outro um, thing, but whew, I'm super excited for this. Adore you is first. Damn, I saw a picture. Like I saw some. I saw DK in the thumbnail. I don't think there's any lyrics, by the way. So a few for the first few music videos, there's probably not going to be lyrics. All right, adore you. Hey yo, hey yo. Yep. Uh, is that June? Dude, Fetus 17. Oh my god, Jung Han. Okay, dude, this is definitely giving, like, early third-generation vibes. It kind of has, like, a Mamamoo kind of vibe to it. Like, Mamamoo's earlier stuff. Um, dude, the fetus the fetus visuals are insane. Look at jung Han's hair. I didn't even recognize June. And then DK's visuals, too. He looks so different. Sun Quan looks pretty similar. I'm dying. What is this outfit? But that part, the way he sang me on it. They actually look really similar, especially Vernon. Oh my god. What's going on the bottom right? Oh my god, this is so cute. I love that. Do you? Ooh. That line. The chorus was amazing. DK looks a lot more like himself now with that with this hairstyle, by the way. Um, also, the these like clips of them singing on the bottom right. I'm shocked by Jung Han's hair, bro. This is crazy. Like I've seen Jung Han long hair ready to love, but this is the next level. Oh my god. I love that little dance you do and the you ooh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god, one who's hair. Oh my god, Sung Chul. Dude, what is going on in this mu- what the- What the hell? Bro, June! I'm absolutely loving reacting to these old mu- these, Like, this is crazy to me, dude. Sung Chol in this scene, I love his hair in this little small um, area of the music video where he's... He looks so good. I don't know about his hairstyle, but... What the hell is Hoshi doing there? That's super cool. I'm actually shocked by June. 
때문에 부인해 나를 시키는 건 무리야 아직은 너 때문에 부인해 우리가 다 우리가 다 어떻게 해도 그니까 Dude, Wanu and Mingyu here 아직은 너 때문에 부인해 Wait, where's Mingyu? Okay, yeah The Puriota, Rita, Rita, I love that part. The Akina, Akina. I like that dance, did you? Sung Kwan and DK. Always with the absolutely amazing vocals. Oh my god, Jung Han on the bottom. I love that you who part. I'm already sweating like crazy, what the hell? Always have amazing choreo, by the way, as usual. Um, damn, bro. We're only one music video in, and I'm al already loving this reaction. Hold up, did I move? I think I moved the camera. Um, but I'm also sweating up so much already, dude. Um, the craziest thing for me in that whole music video was the fetusness. Like, dude, fetus 17 is insane. Um, Jung Han with the long ass hair. I don't know how long that that hair lasts. Um, I have seen that version of him before. Like I have a few carrots that I like. I talk to on Instagram and stuff that show me a lot of pre debut Jung Han. Um, but it was still crazy to see. And then I love the song too, though the chorus especially. Do 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 you do do. And then I get an I get an or whatever that Wuji does. Um, I love it. But yeah, that was their pre debut song. I think. Which was a really good start, but I could easily see the kind of ch third generation vibes. And compared to their newer music, it sounds—I mean, obviously, it sounds completely different. But I still really liked it. Most of them look pretty similar, actually. Like it's just Jung Han's hair that looks crazy. Like he just looks like a completely different person. Still looks amazing though. But um, and then DK's and Sun Quan's vocals obviously are amazing. They still are. Um, but dude, the craziest thing, or the most funny part for me was the outfit. Some of the outfits were pretty, you could tell it was like the third generation stuff because back then they were still, you know, not the greatest when it comes to outfits. And then also when it comes to like hairstyles, like I think Sung Kwan, his hairstyle, uh, is a, you could tell it was third generation. But yeah, I mean, other than that, like it was, it was a really fun song, a really good start to this reaction. Um, Adore You. I loved it, but uh, next, I mean, oh, before I get into the next one, June really, like, I don't know why, like, he didn't look that different, but he, it just, I was just shocked by June, I don't even know why, because, like, like I said, he looked similar, like, he didn't change much, but, damn, and Vernon's hairstyle was crazy, too, um, but anyways, let's get into the next one, Monse, I think, let me check my phone real quick, yeah, Monse is the next one. Oh, it was right on the, on the side there. Hold up, did I? Oh, I didn't even press this yet. Okay, wait. Seventeen Monse. I'm absolutely gonna love this marathon, man. This is gonna be so much fun. I wish, like I said, I wish I could do this on stream, but eventually we'll get some streams going. Um, but let's get right into Monse. Is there captions this time? Nope. Unless I want it in Russian, which I don't. <laughs> so, um. Hey. Oh my god, Sung Cho. So I think this is also pre debut. Was this like planned? Because this is funny. Look at Hoshi's face. Look at all of their faces. They're like, what the hell is going on? Jung Han still has the long hair. Wait, 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 wait. I just want to make sure I'm. Okay, okay. This is also giving me third gen vibes so far. Like the way they said the 17. 
Dude, I love the choreo. Uji's hair. Damn, look at Wanu, what a sim. <laughs> Ooh. Dude, they're all sims. I mean... Ooh. Look at Jung Han. Huh? Okay, now they're simping over Sung Chol, rightly so. I'm simping over Sung Chol too. I'm simping over Jung Chol, but, dude, I guess all the girls like Jung Han. Makes sense, bro. I'm loving the vibes of this. Oh my god, Sun Quan is giving hella second gen vibes, bro. I love the little jump they do. <laughs> bro, I didn't even realize Joshua. Was he was I didn't even like notice him much in the first video, Adore You. Look at DK's smile here. This is so funny. What does Manse mean? Ooh. I like that choreo. <laughs> Dude, what is going on? Oh my god, Sung Cho. Dude, this is hilarious. Yo, DK is killing me in this music video. He's one of the gag trio, right? I forget who's part of the gag trio. I think it's him. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen the guide, so I can't remember. I know DK is one of them. I think Sung Kwan is another. Third. Who's the third? Jo no, not Jung Han. I don't even know. I'll All I know is DK is part of it. And it's evident in this music video so far. Dude, the choreo. Okay, social. Oh my god, I love it. Dude, Jung Han. Ooh. No way she walked away from that. I love the vibes of this so much. Dude, that shit is so fire. And that dance. Oh my god, June. Not June, Dino. That song was amazing. I think I like that one more. I have no idea what this storyline is, though. What is going on here? I don't know. I have no idea what was going on, but it was such a vibe. Seeing DK just be so weird it was so funny that 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 scene where he was smiling to the girl and this girl just pushes pushes him down i died um sung chol looked amazing jung han clearly getting all the all the ladies um but yeah no his hair is insane that long hair is is lethal bro that's crazy it kind of reminds me of like back in the day when i was into k-pop and i liked sherlock by shiny and Taemin had that kind of hairstyle it really reminds me of that so it's bringing all kind of memories back, even though I literally never heard 17 stuff back in that back in the day. Um, 
but yeah, I'm loving the second slash third generation vibes of their earlier music so far. I wonder when it's going to kind of shift into the like later third slash fourth generation stuff. Because um, Ready to Love, Rock With You, Left and Right, they all sound completely different from these kind of songs. But I mean, I really like that. Especially Monse. That one was the Monse, 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 eh, Monse. It's such a vibe, bro. It's literally such a vibe. Anyways, um, let me check the next song. Um, Pretty You. Pretty You, very nice. Boom, boom. I'm just going to remember that for the next three. Damn. My mouth is going to be so dry at the end of this. Um, I'm going to be talking so much. I'm literally only two music video ends and I'm music videos in and I'm already my mouth is already drying up a bit. But anyways, what's the next one again? Pretty you. I don't even remember what was after that. I think it was very nice and boom boom. Um, is pretty you even a title track? I, I have no idea because it has 19 million views. The other ones had more. I guess we'll find out. I love that last song though. I feel like this one's gonna be more of a ballad, or even like I don't know if it's gonna be a ballad, but it'll be slower, I think. Oh, there's English captions. Okay, damn. So it only took two music videos. What is on the car? Okay, Jung Han's hair is a little shorter. It's not really a ballad, but it is a little. Is this Vernon? I don't know who this is. Or is it Sung Chol? This music video is going really like fast paced. What the hell is going on? I think I might have reacted to a B side music video. I have no idea. Oh. That looks like it hurt. You are pretty. Yeah, this feels like it's a B-side music video. I might be wrong, but... I have no idea who's singing which part. I think that last part was Sun Quan though. Damn, June's visuals though. What is going on? Oh, I love that part. I love the vocals here. I don't know who's singing, but... The high pitched part it was so good. What I will confess what has been on the tip of my tongue tomorrow. You wear pretty. I love Joshua's hair. He looks Bro, Joshua looks so much like Asa Asa, however you say it, Asa Butterfield right now. Joshua with this hair is literally Asa Butterfield, a Korean Asa Butterfield. I hope I'm pronouncing that his name right. Where's, where's the Joshua scene? There's a scene Joshua literally looks exactly like him. I'm just gonna watch from here. Like, you're telling me that's not Korean Asa Butterfield. Oh, not here. Again, that's Asa Butterfield, bro.
I guess this is about like confessing that you like someone. I don't know. Wow, I love that part. The high pitched part. That part, that high pitched part. This is a really nice vibe, too, though. I like the Yep with the line. I really love the vibes of the music video though. It seems really wholesome. Yeah, a very wholesome video. Um, I think my favorite so far is still Monse though, but I really enjoyed that one, especially that high pitched parts like I was saying. Um, it was a really chaotic music video though, so I wasn't able to like focus on their visuals or know who was singing which part, so I couldn't really talk about wh whose parts I liked, but um, yeah, it was a very chaotic music video. I really enjoyed the vibes of it. Like I said, super wholesome. But Monse, that shit hit different still. So I think that's, at the moment, out of the three so far, that's probably my favorite. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't have much to say about this one because I it was so chaotic and so fast-paced that I couldn't really focus in on members. Um, but I really like the high-pitched part. That's basically the takeaway from this song. And then also the Yep Boda and the line. And basically, I, I think it's about like confessing that you like someone i have no idea um but yeah or or not confessing that you like someone but like wanting to do that like literally getting over the fear of rejection i don't know maybe i'm thinking too deep into it doesn't matter let's get into the next one which is very nice okay damn three videos in 12 left god damn um hold up what was it very nice This one has a hundred million views. Damn. So this is like probably the one that first really blew up for them, I think. Um, okay. Okay, what the... Damn. Bro, this is a thirst trap. With these outfits? Especially DK in that outfit. Oh my. Okay. What the hell? The choreo, bro. Okay, based off that chorus, that was a very third, early third generation vibe. So they're back to the third generation vibe. Okay, Dino. Wait, was that Dino? Dude, these outfits. Oh my god, everyone in those outfits. Jung Han, back with the long ass hair. I like that part. Duk, duk, the way Mingyu's. Duk, duk. And DK, bro, on this track. Oh my god. I love this. Oh my god. 
Oh, nice. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, nice. Doo -doo -doo. oh my god, this is a banger. This might be my new favorite one. I don't get what's with that. With that. They, all of the members are doing that. Okay, a bit of a flow switch. Bro, Sung Cho, punch me with those gloves. Yo, oh my god. Oh my god, Jung Cho. Oh. oh Dude this chorus is absolutely elite But the DK The DK and Sung Kwan vocals here Oh The DK vocals And then Sung Kwan I do nice do 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 I do nice do 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 Oh my god this is so addicting And I love the choreo during it But yeah I'm so confused about this how they keep like basically like something bursts out of their heart and it's just feathers It's happened like so many times I'm so confused about that Oh my god. Yo. I don't know if this is weird, but Sung Cho running there was sexy as hell, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. That was cool. That was cool. Yeah, I, like I said, though, I'm so confused. Why do they keep exploding and bursting and feathers coming out? God damn, bro. These are amazing. Seventeen's discography are is I haven't even checked it all out yet, but everything I've heard so far from their newer stuff absolutely slap. Every single song so far have slapped, has slapped. So especially this one, dude. Monse was my favorite till this, but this one just took over it. That I just nice dude dude dude. So fire, so addicting. Um, yeah, I love that song. DK really stood out in that music video, in my opinion, especially with those like, what are they called against suspenders? Suspenders, I think. All of them looked amazing in those outfits, but especially DK. I love Jung Han's hair as well. As dude, that long hair on him is just insane. And then Sung Chol, obviously, was huge Sung Chol simp. So, um, yeah. On to the fifth one, boom boom, dude. I'm already on five, and um, this this reaction is going on 33 minutes. I wonder how long. I think mm, I'm gonna say like the whole, whole reaction might take like two hours. That's my prediction. We'll see though. Um, I've actually went through these pretty fast, faster than I thought I would. But I'm also realizing I spend 15 minutes on on music videos usually because of the fact that I, um. I watch dance practices too. I just realized that. That's probably why. Oh, okay. Anyways, um, what's the next one? Boom, boom. Okay. There's no captions for this one. There's 4K though. Let's go. NBC Music. Okay, Jung Han has a different haircut. Okay, so now, so far, it's been, like, straight to the point. Like, as soon as the song starts, they're, they're singing, they're dancing and stuff. And, but this one has, like, 10 seconds at the start of a bit of a storyline, I guess. Oh 
Oh my god, Sung Chol's hair. I like that little dance they do. I just saw it going 17. This is a very different kind of vibe from the other songs. Is that Mingyu? Wait, what? Oh my god, I didn't even realize that was Mingyu, bro. Mingyu with the blonde hair. I like the way he says that. You got me like boom boom. This is a very different vibe, like I said. I love the choreo though. Dude, the choreo here is so sick. Boom, boom. I love the way Mingyu says that. Boom boom, boom boom, you get boom boom, boom boom. Oh shit. This dance is fire. When Dino starts, the, the choreography is amazing. Also, Dino. Right here? Oh my god, that choreo. This actually grew on me a lot. Initially, I wasn't a huge fan of it. Yeah, this grew on me a lot throughout the song. Those outfits, these ones, the like the velvet ones, so fire. Yeah, no. Initially, I was not vibing with that song too much. Damn, I gotta. If I'm here, I'm still in frame. I gotta. I gotta maintain this position. Okay. Um. Yeah, like I said, that one grew on me a lot through the song. Initially, I wasn't vibing too hard with it. I thought that boom boom was a bit cringe, but. The more I listened to it, it got it got pretty good. Especially the ah, oh, there was a part in the middle. I forget how it goes right now, but because the, the boom boom is stuck in my head. But I love the way Mingyu and Wanu said say the boom boom part. But the chorus as well, the choreo was fire. Dino's part was sick. Like the the rapping from him and the choreo during it was just amazing. And the outfits, those velvet outfits, those were amazing. But yeah, this seems like it was the first kind of shift in their vibe. They went for something new. They tried something new. Um, but I still like Very Nice the most so far And I think I like Manse better than this This might be on the same level as Adore You I can't really remember how Adore You sounds right now um, Because I've reacted to four other songs in between that But yeah, like Manse, still my second favorite And so far, Very Nice is definitely number one um, So yeah, let's get into the next, next one There's six I'm on the sixth one now, so there's ten more left. Don't want to cry. This is the one I've been super excited for. Damn, oh god, oh god. I'm actually so excited for this. 
Oh my god, I was so excited for this. Don't want to cry. 228 million views. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is their first... Or not their first, but this is like their biggest hit. I think. Um, and this is like the first time... So if you see the thumbnail of the video, it's the play, play this or... Pl I don't know how you say it. But this is the first time they have this logo on their thumbnail. Which is what they have on the new logos. Or on the new... Um, music videos thumbnails so don't want to cry let's get right into it Whew. no captions again unfortunately but i already love the music I just want to say this most of their visuals so far look like it seems like they've matured a lot in this music video I don't know if I'm just being biased because I know this was like a really big hit but I don't know they, they seem pretty mature to me like Hoshi seems a lot more mature to me I love the locations they're dancing in too. DK's vocals, bro. DK's vocals are insane. Literally one of my favorite vocalists in K-pop. I love the music. Also, Shipshi Ana, what did they say? Dude, the choreo. Ulgo Shipshi Ana, I think that's what they're saying. What does that mean? Don't want to cry? I love these scenes. When they're in this location, the angle and then just the, the choreo. So satisfying. Oh my god. Dude, Jong Han. Oh my god. Dude, the him and DK, Sun Kwon and DK always have the same part in songs. They just alternate when they do it. DK had this right before the previous chorus, the first chorus, and now it's Sun Kwon's turn. And the dancing during Sun Kwon's vocals here. I absolutely love it. I think I, okay, never mind. I thought I pressed the button. Anyways, bro, his vocals here and the dance. And this EDM style music. Is that the eight? Go off. Is that the eight? I can't tell who it was. Okay, it is. He just went off with his dance in here. That was sick. I love how they lean and then they do the other lean. Oh my god, his vocals. Jong Han's vocals. 
<laughs> that was so sick, the way they all went like that. Oh my god. Jung Han's vocals here. Oh my god, his vocals and visuals. And then here, watch. And the way they do that. It's so good. It's so good. The ad libs, I think it's DK. Oh my god, the music and the choreo. Song Cho, he just gave me goosebumps. Dude, Song Cho here, oh my god. I'm absolutely in love with this song. Oh my god. Don't wanna cry. This might be recency bias. I think that's my favorite 17 song. Like, that I've heard. Other than, like... Okay, that might be recency biased. Title track-wise, I think it is, though. Wow. 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 I absolutely love that song. Don't Wanna Cry. Oh my god. That shit hits so... So different. I had super high expectations going into it, and it did not disappoint at all, bro. That went... That was so good. I'm in love with that song. And the music video. The music video was just one of the most beautiful ones I've seen. The choreo, the... 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 the, the like... The places they filmed it, like those those angles of them from the top view of them just in like a f completely isolated place doing that dance, the part when they went like that, oh my god, that was so sick. Jung Han looked amazing. Oh my god, his hair, DK's vocals, Sung Kwan's vocals, bro. This song is so good. Oh my god, I'm in love with that song. I don't know if I'm overreacting right now. <sighs> that was that was insane. I loved I loved it. Don't want to cry. At the moment, probably my favorite title track. It might be recency bias. Maybe if I listen to it again and listen to all of the title tracks later, it might ch I might change my mind. But as of right now, definitely so far from the songs I've heard, it's my favorite. Um, but yeah, dude, that was such a good song. I love the EDM vibe of it. Damn. Anyways, um, Don't Wanna Cry, 17. Banger. Let's get into the next one, which is, I think, Clap. Um, hold up. Clap. The next one is clap. Okay. I'm still, I'm still not get over that song, dude. That was such a banger. Hold up. Okay. My back is kind of hurting. I've only been here for 48 minutes, though. I've done reactions this long, so I'm not sure why it's hurting, but... Let's get right into clap. Oh. Hold up. Their captions? Auto generated, those are wrong for sure. Teen age. What is going on? Hold up, first of all, let me get into the frame. What is going on right now? This this reminds me of some Pink Panther kind of vibe, based on the music and stuff. Clap. How do they all fit into that room? There's got to be something else in there. Dude, Mingyu's visuals. 
I remember seeing um when I was going through the music videos, Change Up, Trauma, those were songs that were also had music videos. I remember because I was gonna react to those in this video, but then it would have been too long of a reaction, so that's why I didn't. But I will make a reaction to that later, like I said in my intro, but yeah, so I've I've been noticing it said trauma right here. Right here it said change up somewhere. Right there, change up, which is the 17, like each per, each unit leader is on that. I think. And then I just saw trauma somewhere. Right there. I don't know what that's supposed to represent, but. Hoshi's hair. I like the guitar in the background, the kind of rock vibe. The cha 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 cha. Drink? What does it say on his. How to make it? I love the choreo there. But dude, Sung Chol and Vernon's rap. His outfit is fire. This dance. This is a very complicated music video. Whoever edited this, edited this. Oh my god. Yeah, like I said, this is such a complicated music video. Like the editing and stuff. And Sung Chol here, bro. I love this dance. This is such a dope music video. Flow switch. Sung Kwan just went off, bro. His vocals here are amazing. This is another one. It's kind of like boom boom. It grew on me. Sung Kwan is going crazy in the background. Oh my god, June. Nah, bro, what the hell? Why, why, who said it was a good idea for June to wear that blazer without a shirt underneath? Pretty sure he doesn't have a shirt on. And I think Sung Cho was the same. Was it him? One of them didn't have anything underneath in it. Definitely, June is definitely one of them. I think June and Sung Cho. But yo, that song grew on me a lot. Yeah, no, I, was, I wasn't really digging the cha-cha-cha thing at the start. But then when they got to the... Do 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 cha 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 that part when it get when it I don't know it grew on me a lot I I initially like I said it was very similar to boom boom my initial reaction my initial thoughts to it was very similar to boom boom I didn't really like it feel felt like a bit too like not cringe but like you could definitely someone might see it as cringe which I kind of did at the start but then as it kept going I started to like it um but still, out of the seven so far, it's still not one of my favorites. But I still liked it. 
It grew on me a lot. Boom Boom as well grew on me a lot. Um, but I loved the music video. That's one thing I absolutely loved. It had a very cool, like, like editing. The editing was really, really cool. There were some references to the B-sides in that album, I think, like Trauma and um, what was the other one? Change Up, I think. And I think there was like a there was a scene where there was like a building that they had and there were these like Lego almost looked like Lego humans or something. And then on the bottom of that building, it looked like it was the three members, the three leaders that made that song called Change Up, the one with the seven with the unit leaders. I don't know. I, I, I haven't seen those music videos, obviously, but I've seen the thumbnails and I think like it was referenced to those songs. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but. Yeah, clap. Um, I love the cha 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 part. In fact, yo, I think it might be. I think I'm gonna like move this down a bit. I want to get that clouds though. The clouds look cool. It adds a little bit to this, you know, to the video. Um, I think it's because I'm s sitting too tall. I don't know, cause my back is fucking killing right now. Um, but yo, doesn't matter. We're gonna have to sit through the pain for seventeen because seventeen are amazing. Um, what's the next one? Hold up. Clap. Thanks. The next one is thanks. Okay. Um. Yeah, no, that, that one grew on me, though. Clap. Thanks. This one doesn't have as many views. I think it's... I, f I don't know why. I have a feeling it's going to be a ballad. I feel like ballads don't really get the views that de they deserve. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait. Okay. 4K, no captions. Their visuals are really starting to get mature now. I already like this song. Sorry, this is one of the most attractive things I've seen Sung Chol ever do. And he's done some pretty attractive things. The way he's doing this rap and just... Oh my god. The way he's like almost rehearsing it. It kind of seems candid. Like the video, it seems almost candid like he's just doing it on his own. But it's part of the music video. I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't know why I love the way he does that. Like watch Sung Chol here. It looks like he's just singing on his own time, or rapping on his own time. Like right there, oh my god, I love him so much. Gomapta means thank you, right? Or thanks? Oh, the vo vocals. Yo. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Bro, I don't know why. I don't even know why I'm doing this right now. I, I don't know what to say. Like, this, you're probably so confused right now. I don't even know what to say, but... That was one of the best 20 seconds of anything I've ever seen, bro. I don't even know why. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if it was the music, the dancing, the... Like, oh my... Yo, this might be my favorite song. But, like, this might be my favorite title track. I low-key like this better than Don't Want to Cry. What the hell? Bro, what the hell? I'm sweating. You guys are probably so confused. I'm confused. We gotta watch this again. 
The build-up is so good. Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. That vocal build-up from DK is just insane. And then... Oh my god, that music is unbelievable. And I think, is this June? Who is this? Who is this? Whoever this is absolutely m destroyed it. Like, he, he is so good right here. I think it's June. It's June or the 8th, I can't really tell. And I love this room that they're in when they're doing this dance. I don't know why, I don't know what it is about it, but I'm absolutely in love with it. And the music. Yo, I think it's June. June is making a strong case for becoming my main bias record. This is such a good song. Oh, vocals. I love that line. Go mapta, go mapta. That vocal building. This is one of my favorite 17 choreos that I've seen. You guys don't understand, bro. I have goosebumps like no tomorrow. Oh my god. That music. That little subtle music that they have. I don't know how to do it with my voice. Like, I can't make those sounds, but listen to the sound. Listen to the background music. Right there, that little... I can't do it, I can't do it. Right there. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. Bro. I'm, I have, I'm speechless, bro. I'm speechless. The goosebumps I have right now are insane. Hoshi, bro. Hoshi's vocal, or sorry, not vocal. Hoshi's dance break here. Like, look at, look at Hoshi's solo dance. Oh my god, the music, this music is one of the best music. Yo, you guys don't understand. Dude, this is, it's such a crime. It's such a crime that that has 65 million views. That's already a lot of views. 64 million, not even 65. That deserves a billion views. I'm not even exaggerating. That's one of my the best songs I've heard and one of the best music videos I've ever watched. You guys might think I'm overreacting. I don't know. I hope someone shares the same opinion with me on thanks. There's probably going to be someone who does because that shit was a masterpiece. That was next level, bro. I'm assuming Ruji produced it and Ruji like had a huge part to play. Probably some other members too, but bro, I usually don't like overreacting to stuff, but... I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, I, I literally didn't know what to do when I watched that. Like, when I watched that June solo dance part, that shit hit so different. I didn't even know what to do. And then every time that music played and the dancing, the choreo, and then there was, like, parts when they were all in four, like, four members surrounding each other just doing this, shit was elite. It was so good. And then the music, bro. The music was one of the best music I've ever heard in a K-pop. In a song, bro. Forget K-pop. It was literally... 
Oh my god, that's definitely my favorite Seventeen song. And this time I don't have to say recency bias. That's definitely my favorite Seventeen song so far. Holy shit. I don't know how that how anything is going to top that. Don't want to cry was amazing though, and then this top that. So I'm I'm there might be something that that tops that, bro. Oh my god. Seventeen are just so so talented, man. I'm I'm so happy I decided to do this marathon. I've been sleeping on this masterpiece for so long now. Holy dude, the goosebumps I got some of the in some parts of that song. Bro, I don't even know how to recover from that. And now I have to jump into another music video, which is going to kill me. Call, call, call. That's the next one. Sung Chol killed me in this video, by the way. Like, he was so good. Um, yeah, Sung Chol, um, the, that, like, that candid style of, it, you know, rapping that he was doing, that part hit so different in my opinion. But yeah, next one. Okay, so Call, Call, Call is a Japanese one. I hope this Japanese one doesn't ruin this video and gets it blocked or something. Um, but let's see. Call, call, call. I'm still getting, I'm still not getting, I'm still not over that last song. Thanks. It's such a crime that it's only 64 million. This one's 34 million. Let's see if this one's a crime too. It's got a rock vibe. Similar to like clap, I think it was. I like this effect on the video. Wait, before I get into the the actual song, okay, this is cool that they have the 17 and they say 17, but like I can already tell like in this like to explain why I love Thanks so much. Um, in this video, you could already see there's effects. There's like music. There's effects on the video. But with, with Thanks, it was like almost everything was like natural, if that makes sense. And like the the location they did the choreo in, the, the, the scene switching, the solo dance break, the part when Hoshi was looking in the mirror and doing the solo dance, June was doing it in some like diner or something. Like those kind of things, the natural vibe of it, the candidness of it, is I think that's what I loved so much. And then obviously the music was unbelievable. But anyways, I just wanted to point that out. Like you can tell with these effects, like I said, the music video effects were cool here. The clap, or sorry, not clap. Thanks didn't really have stuff like that. So, anyways, let me restart this. Oh, it's Japanese. I like the way they repeat that. It's a very rap heavy song. Oh, what the hell? I thought that was DK for a second. They all look like badasses in this video. I like that. Ow! Ow! The choreo is is interesting. It's cool though. This is more of like a hype kind of vibe. Oh, 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 Jung Han looks insane. Mush mush. Mush mush. What does mush mush mean again? Like hello? It's like the Yobaseo equivalent of Japanese. Yeah, like these. Like this music music video has really cool effects. I'm not a 
I love Jung Han's hair in this. That ow! I love that ow part. I love Mingyu's vocal tone, bro. I don't know why they look younger in this. I guess. Was this before Thanks? I like that dance they do that. I don't know how to do it. Like, I don't know how they do that. I'm a horrible dancer though, so. I like this part. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ching Ching. All right. Well, call, call, call. Interesting song. Um, I think that was a, that was probably the most like hype vibe from all of the songs that I've listened to so far today. Um, it was almost nonstop fast pacedness, which is fun when you're like, I feel like this is kind of like a workout song or like a hype song or like, I don't know. I don't know what kind of vibes you would have this in, but. I mean, I still like the song, but it's just like it didn't hit as different as some of the other ones that I've reacted to so far. Specifically, Thanks and Don't Wanna Cry. And even Monse was really, really good. Very nice. Compared to those, I wasn't vibing that hard. And this one didn't really have that effect that Boom Boom and Clap had where it kind of grew on me. Like, but the, at the same time, like Boom Boom and Clap, initially, I didn't really like. But for this one, I was just like kind of indifferent to it. Initially, I was like, this is good. Like, it is decent, but I don't know if it's something I would listen to, and I, I still feel that way. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's... 17 always make good music, though, so, like, I'm sure there are people that love this song, and, and rightly so, it's a hype, fast-paced kind of vibe, um, which sometimes I usually... Like, I actually like them. I like those kind of vibes, usually. Um, but I feel like there's other groups that do that for me more than 17. 17 are more of the rock-with-you kind of style, re ready to love, and then the don't-want-to-cry those kind of things um so for that reason i wasn't a huge fan of that song but i like that oh 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 parts and i love the way sung chol and one who started it with the giddy 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 like they said something really like repetitive re repetitively or something so i like the way they started it but yeah overall that song re wasn't really for me i mean i'm gonna give all of these songs another listen um after i'm finished reacting so they might grow on me but as of right now i'm still I wasn't a huge fan of it, but I think we're nine songs in now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so we've got six left. Damn, we still got six left. The next one is Oh My. Not My My, Oh My. I haven't heard this one yet. Um, hold up. I gotta, I gotta do something about this, this chair, bro. This was this was on my chair. No wonder my back was hurting. What the hell? Oh, this is so much. Oh my god. This is so much better, bro. I actually feel like I'm in a chair now. Oh my god. That was literally hurting my back like crazy. You guys don't understand how much it was hurting. Anyways, um Oh my. 63 million views. Let's see if this is another underappreciated song of theirs. I'm still not over the fact that Thanks has 64 million views. I'm telling you guys, that deserves a billion views. I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. Okay. How do you say that, the company name? Is it... Platus, Platus, Platus. They're very like I feel like they're pretty experimental. Love his vocals there. I like that piano. 
The eights pair though. I like this. It's a chill vibe. What does Mayo mean again? Mayo? 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 I like the choreo too. This has a very chill vibe. Okay, two things. I absolutely love Wonu's flow here, and I, there's one scene that the eight looks amazing. I love Sung Chol's part too, but I love Wonu's flow. And then this part, this scene, the eight looks amazing. What the hell? Anyways. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that part. I think this is my favorite V8 visuals music video. Ooh, I love that part when they do a little higher part. That? Sun Kwan's vocals. I think that was Sun Kwan. Whoa. Completely different flow. I love the vo uh, choreo. Oh my god, the vocals. And I like the way they kind of shoot an arrow. I really like these scenes. Like this camera view is really cool. I like that dance. Yeah, I really like this camera view. Or camera angle. Oh my. That part? That part was really good. Um, yeah, no, I really like that song. It was a very chill vibe, like I said. I think that might be their chillest... Unless I'm forgetting something, Pretty You might have been pretty ch super chill as well. I can't really remember how it sounded. But this one was a really chill chill vibe. And I think it might be their chillest title track, at least the one, at least from the ones that I've heard so far. Um, it was really good, though. I really enjoyed that, especially that... And Sun Quan and DK, as always, just killing it with the vocals. They're two of the best vocalists in K-pop. I absolutely love them. And every time they... They kind of alternate the same part, and it's amazing. And I think I can kind of tell their tones apart now. I'm pretty sure I can tell Sun Quan apart. Um, but yeah, they killed it, as always. And so did the entire entirety of Seventeen. Um, but yeah, the next one is Home. Seventeen Home. I think I've, I've heard of that. I've heard good things about it. So far, though, Thanks is my favorite. I'm trying to see if anything else can beat Thanks right now. Oh, by the way, I think I mentioned this already, but V8 in Oh My, definitely in terms of, like, if, we, if I had to choose one music video that I think V8 looks the best in, from what I've seen so far, it's probably that one. 
Anyways, um, home. Finally, some some captions. I don't really use them, but still. Wow, the visuals. Wow. Holy. Oh my god. Dude, Jung Han's vote visuals? This might become the most chill song actually. I love the choreo there. Very chill vibe. I really like this one. I love the black and white scenes. I love this one. Oh my god. Yo, I don't know if it's just like, oh my god. I. I've seen some amazing Jung Han visuals. This is some of the best Jung Han visuals I've seen, bro. That that messy kind of hair with the blonde. Wow. Um, but dude, I really love the vibes. I love the vibes of the song. There's and I just realized one thing. I love when DK's the center of the choreos. Like when he's doing the choreo center. I don't know how to word this. When he's the center of the choreos, I absolutely love it. But yeah, I love this chorus. Yeah, when DK's the center, and this choreo is amazing. I realized when they have a bit of EDM to their songs, they're usually my favorites. Cause this is up there for one of my favorites. Yeah, I absolutely love these scenes. When they're over here, it has like a bit of a purple tinge. I love those scenes. Oh my god, Sung Chol's visual. Wanu's vocal tone. June. Oh my god, I just interrupted Sun Quan's vocals, but I have to watch this again. I love the choreo in this song and his vocals, bro. One who's vocal tone and June's vocal tone. I like the music right now. The 
outfits are amazing. This, this, bro, that set. This set. So good. Where you can cry, where I can cry. That was a beautiful song. This might be their... This might be the chillest one, actually, from the ones I've heard, but I love that song. I think that's in my top three from today. And like I said, all of the common, like, the common factor in all of the songs that I've absolutely loved today are, like, there's a bit of EDM to it. I feel like 17 with EDM is so good, but Rock With You and Ready To Love didn't really have, especially Rock With You, like, Rock With You is insane. Uh, anyways, I mean, uh, that's, that has nothing to do with this, with this right now, but yeah, man. I love that song as well. Home. And I love the meaning too, like the lyrics. But the next one is Hit. I've heard of Hit. I think Hit is one of their more famous ones. Um, never mind, it has 69 million views. So there are more famous ones, but I do, I have heard of Hit. And I think I remember when I first started reacting to 17, a lot of people wanted me to react to Hit. Um, but yeah. I'm just hoping none of these, I'm hoping this video doesn't get blocked or like some of the reactions I, I'm doing right now don't get blocked because then I'm going to have to upload those and it's just going to be such a hassle. But yeah, I'm hoping this is safe to react to all of this in one video. Um, it should be, but we'll find out, I guess. Okay, hit. There's captions again, but no 4K. Wow. Oh my if you can see This is very fast paced. Oh my. They literally know they're hot. Like, who the- who told them to, to wear blazers without anything underneath? Like, who thought it was a good idea? Especially Ming Yu, oh my god. Dude, Jung, Jung Han's visuals. Okay, this is their hype song for sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. The choreo is amazing. Oh my god, thank you, bro. Yo, this has got to be their hardest choreo, right? I'm only like a minute and a half in, but this is insane. Dude, Jung Han, bro. What is he on? Some Kwan's vocals. Is DK is DK not in this video? I haven't seen him yet. Oh my god, I love these Hoshi scenes. With the rain? Oh, there's DK. He is in this. I can't breathe. This is dope. Oh 
This is definitely their hype song, like it's obvious. And it's fire. Whoa, 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 whoa. The choreo looks amazing. I love that part. Hit, 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 hit sound. Dude, these Hoshi rain scenes? Damn. Yeah, like I said, completely just hype. Hypeness. Um, I don't know if that's a song I'll listen to on my own time. Maybe like, again, like a workout kind of vibe. I don't really work out though, so I don't know why I'm saying that. But like a hype song, if I'm, if I'm about to like do something that requires me to get hyped, I'll probably listen to this. Um, or at least it will be in my hype playlist, but yeah, like I, I don't see myself listening to it that frequently, but I love the music video, like the choreo and just the, the hypeness of it. Like, I always love reacting to hype songs, even if I don't listen to it that much on the, like, afterwards, but just watching the choreo and stuff for them are, is always super fun. So yeah, that seems like a really difficult choreo. I don't know if it was just because they were going so fast or like it's actually really complex, Either way, the choreo was awesome. Mingyu was insane, bro. The, like, who... I don't get who decided to give him blazers without stuff underneath. Like, especially with Mingyu, because he's deezed. So, that was that was crazy. Um, but next, happy ending. And then fear. And then home run. Three more left. I'm can't, I can't believe I'm already almost done 15 music videos. Happy ending seems like it was a B-side or or like or not as a as like maybe a special title track because um it only has 29 million 21 million views and I think it's a Japanese song as well so um yeah okay let's get right into it hopefully this doesn't get blocked for being Japanese I don't know if there's captions nope wait 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, what? Happy ending, happy ending, yeah. Oh, they're saying happy ending, I just realized. I love June's visuals here. A lot of trophies. Dude, Jung Han's visuals never disappoint. Ooh, vocals. Oh my god, Sung Chol here. Just his facial expressions and the way he says happy ending. And the dance. And his hair, and the earring, everything basically. They literally always have amazing choreo, like. Bro, why is Sung Chol so perfect, bro? Like, what the hell? I love June in this video. 
I love the camera work there. Uji's vocals. I don't know what the what's up with this SWAT team and stuff. Bro, the the, sh the eyebrow raises that Sung Cho does are insane. Ooh. I love the choreo. Ooh. Vocal. Happy ending. Happy ending. I love the choreo when they sing this happy ending part. It wow, definitely a happy ending when when Jung Han ends it. Wow. I hope I, like I I need to get a new monitor, like another monitor, so I know how I look while I'm reacting. Cause I literally only have one monitor right now. Um, but anyways, happy ending. I love the way they sang happy ending. Like the way they pronounced ending. Happy ending, happy ending. Um, and I love the choreo when they were saying that part, the happy ending part. The choreo was awesome. Um, they literally never miss with their choreo. Like, it's I find it hard to believe. Like, they 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 always have the most fire choreos when they have thirteen members. Like, that's that's probably so hard um, to do. But every single time they kill it. Um, but yeah, dude, absolutely love that song as well. Um, I love the tone. Whoever sings the happy ending part, I think it's either Wanu or Mingyu. But I love how it's like in a deeper kind of vote, like deeper tone. Um, but yeah, DK again and Sun Quan with their vocals. That's been a, just every single video I'm saying that because they literally just are such good vocalists. Um, but yeah, happy ending. Two more left, Fear and Home Run. Well, let's get right into the next one, Fear. Can't believe we're almost done this. It's it's getting it's it's gonna probably finish under two hours, which I'm surprised about, but. Um, yeah, Fear has 48 million views, and it's a pretty new one, so that's pretty interesting. Um, let's get right into it. Again with the non nothing underneath the blazer, bro. Oops. Bro, when Jung Han's hair is like a bit wet, it looks so good. Just a bit like wavy. Old truth is worth more than that. Damn. Vernon's hair, though. What? Bro, what? Jung Han. What? This is a dope music video. Oh my. 
What? Dude, Sung Chul's vocals and, I mean, rap and visuals. Oh, this vi dude, this scene right here. The side profile. Oh my god. Dude, he's so fire. I like how he did the solo dance and then the rest joined. Oh my god, these outfits. These outfits. These outfits are crazy. Especially the. Bro, Mingyu in these outfits. Thirst trap. Thirst trap. Look at Vernon, bro. Oh my. I like this oh uh, oh uh, oh uh, part This is a very artsy music video Yo, June in those outfits too Uh, 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 uh. Dude, the ad libs. That was a really good song. It had a very, like, creepy vibe to it, kind of. Oh my god, that was insane. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, the way I love the dude, the outfits, the set. That music video was really cool. The, the part when Jung Han rubs that lipstick on his cheeks or whatever. Uh he looked amazing. He had that one line as well when he said that Sarang Hei or something sounded super creepy. It, it was a very creepy but like cool vibe. I don't know how to explain it. And then my love is poison or something they kept saying. Sung Cho looked amazing his rap, but bro, Mingyu in those outfits with the like the shirt without like with, you could see his like chest a bit and same with June. Him and June, they looked absolutely amazing in those scenes. Um especially Mingyu, bro. Oh my god, he's the, he's literally so deezed. So it just he just stands out so much um in those kind of scenes, but yeah, um I really like that fear it's another song that's criminally underrated like 49 million views only this literally deserves so much more views and also Jung Han in that music video was absolutely amazing I can't tell which music video I liked Jung Han the most and I think it was there was one that I said he really stood out and I think it might have been was it oh my I can't remember or was it home I don't remember but he had the curly kind of like wavy blonde hair in it he looked amazing, but he's been looking amazing in these. Same with Sung Chol, same with all of Seventeen. And with that, we're at the last music video, the last title track that I have to check out, Home Run. This is insane. I can't believe... After this, I'm going to be fully caught up with 17 title tracks. And then I'm going to be ready for the comeback. Can't wait for that comeback. I was supposed to react to Home Run months ago. You guys have been waiting so patiently. And I'm finally getting to it, but after reacting to all other 14 title tracks that I missed. So I'm hoping you guys are happy that I did this because it was super spontaneous. I was just like, damn, the comeback's happening soon. I haven't checked out any of 17's previous title tracks. I'm going to just do it. I'm going to just do this marathon, get caught up with 17 title tracks. And here we are. Finally, my last title track that I have to check out, Home Run. Let's get right into it. I'm super excited. Okay, Fear was really good, by the way. I'm just listen. I'm just thinking of it in my head right now, and it was a really good song. But Home Run, I'm super excited for this. All right.
Is that Dino or Sung Cho? Oh, carrot? That's cool. That's so cool. I love the vibe so far. I love June's visuals here. The, the, the turtleneck? You got this jazzy kind of piano vibe? I love their outfits. Dude, their outfits are amazing. Oh shit, so chill. This was a very this has a very similar vibe to left and right in my opinion. Um, and it has that kind of jazzy touch to it, which I'm really liking. And it kinda has that old school vibe in terms of the music video as well. What the heck? such a banger bro his earrings I love the jazz vibe vocals Outfits are amazing. These are one of the best outfits I've seen in a 17 video. Like, I'm so in love with these outfits. I love June's visuals there. This is such a fire song, dude. It's such a vibe. Oh, oh I thought they were gonna say home run again. I like the way he says that. Oh, so good. Ooh, the eight. Yo, that was sick. That was actually sick. Yeah, that was Forever Diamond. Oh. Semicolon. Okay, Hoshi. I love that song. Dude, they are, like, very experimental. Like... 17 is actually very experimental. They all of their songs sound very different. Like they yeah, they always they make really like they're really versatile basically is what I'm trying to say. Like damn, home run, dude. That jazzy kind of vibe was so good. And I love the outfits. That might be one of my favorite outfits in a 17 music video. Damn. Wow. Um I can't believe I'm done all of the title tracks. That's insane. I'm gonna go through, like, don't wanna cry. I'm just reading off the list I have right here. 
I, I loved I'll tell you the ones I really liked. Monsig was amazing. I remember when I first like when I when I reacted to that I really liked it. Very nice was very nice. Um, it was it was sick. Boom boom grew on me. Clap grew on me. Don't want to cry was an instant hit for me. Thanks was the biggest instant hit for me. As of right now, I think that's I, can, I think I can say that that's my favorite seventeen title track. Um, it was just so good. It hit it hit so different. Like you know when a song just you can't explain why but you just love it. And the music video too, like that's what happened with me for thanks. Um, call, 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 call was was decent. I remember it was the Japanese one, the first Japanese one. I remember like I don't know if it's something I would listen to. Oh my was pretty good. It was a chill vibe. Home was a really chill vibe. I really liked Home. Hit was a hype hype song. The choreo looked sick. Um, happy ending. I love the way they sang happy ending, like the actual word happy ending. Um, fear was awesome. That one I think was really underrated actually because it only has forty nine million views or something definitely deserves 100 million just because the music video is insane even the song is really good but that music video is so good and then home run that was a banger that was a banger i think if i had to give it top five out of just these title tracks that i reacted to i know don't want to cry and thanks are definitely in it i think home and um home and home run <laughs> home and home run those two i think are also in it and that gives me one more to choose from and i think it's either between very nice or fear but i don't know i don't know um in the comments though let me know if you get what you guys what your favorite title tracks are um list me your top three i would love to hear what your top three title tracks from 17 are um by the time i upload this i probably have a better idea of my top three so i guess i'll i'll comment it myself in my pinned comment but i want to know what you guys what your guys opinion are opinions are let me know your top three title tracks um you can give your top five if you want um also if you made it this far if you're here till the end drop the three diamonds as usual drop the three diamond emojis to to let me know that you've made it this far for anyone who makes it this far i absolutely appreciate it um you guys are just awesome 17 carrots have been the like my favorite fandom by far uh it's been so easy to get into 17 because of you guys it's just the most non unproblematic fandom that i've come across for sure and i'm part of the fandom now clearly have checked out every single title track now um i've been part of the fandom though but yeah you know what i mean absolutely love you guys um again comment the three diamonds if you made it this far if you like the video if you want to see more 17 reactions make sure to stay tuned i'm going to be reacting to the comeback as soon as it drops and as well as the album that when it drops um so yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, again, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.